pigment do you have? My box. Red. Red. What color does Sophia have? I have red too. Oh, you both have red? Wow. Hi, I have red. red. I yeah. have both red. <laughs> I have red too. We are back from our trip. I have my mom. She's helping me make dinner for the girls right now. And look what we're doing. We are getting the Christmas tree up. I have to still fluff. Oh, oh, your spoon. I have to fluff it out. And then I'm going to get all the ornaments and decorations. Uh, I'm really excited too because the color. Here, I'll plug it in quick. So pretty. Mm -hmm. oh, I am back home. I just made myself a little hot chocolate with steamed milk. I've got lots of bags here to share with you guys. I went a little crazy today. I'm just so excited for the new Christmas theme. I'm going to show you everything I bought. Uh, I've got ornaments and then out here there's just like even more bags. So I am going to start off with this shop that I went to. It's just like a random shop here in Calgary, um, kind of where I go grocery shopping. Look at these cute little dish towels. Max is helping. Um, so of course you guys already know the theme, theme I'm going for and I just thought because the girls love reindeers I thought this would be really cute for our kitchen. So I got two And then I also got look at this little guy So adorable. So a little uh, Penguin with a little red hat so you guys can already tell the theme I'm going for and huge thing of ornaments that I got too um, This was just really treaty for tonight. I got caramel, salted caramel. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. There's even nuts in there. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for that. That'll be a little treat later. Um, I got this little ornament. I don't go crazy with ornaments. Like I usually just like to pick and choose really cute ones and then just get the ordinary um, set just to save some cost because ornaments are expensive. Uh, and then I got these. Uh, for my gold candle holders. How cute is this? I got this for the girls and I that we can make some cookies. It's the Christmas cookie glitter set. So I also just went to Safeway, which is where I go grocery shopping. And I also got some like sprinkles and cute things that they can decorate with. So I can do that for the holidays. And then I just thought these were really cute for the kitchen. So I got, I think two of them, it's a different one. Reindeer. Thank you, Max. And then I thought this would be nice for our kitchen. So a little soap set right here. And I just loved the green. And then it comes with a really nice little stand at the bottom. The hand soap. So I got that. And then I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, okay. So this is, I thought this would be cute for Ryan. So little skates they actually do look like his actual hockey skates you guys so that's perfect i got those let's keep them in here i don't want to ruin them watch out maxie do you have a haircut this week max you do you're so fluffy so gross so fast oh i think this is the little christmas tree i got this so oops watch out max this is it so I thought that would be really pretty, and I got the girls this for Christmas. Watch out, Max. Um, they're like magnet puzzles, which I thought was really neat. This is what they look like. They have like different puzzles in here. I did like it, and they seem to always want the same thing, so I got them two, and then I also got them uh, these socks. So they love socks. They're gonna freak out when they see those. 
And lastly, these are the little candle holders I got. Oh, never mind. Not last thing. Uh, look how gorgeous these are. So you can put candles on them, and I just loved the look of them. Um, so I got two of those, and then these little trees will go and sit on them like that. That's really cute too. It has like gold in it, if you guys can see. They had ones with silver, but I just thought with the theme, that would be really pretty. And then this can sit like that. That's how she had them in the store. And I ended up taking both of them. And then here's a cute little baby one. These are really adorable. And I also got, okay, I don't want to open all of them, but just to show you what they look like, I got these beautiful glasses. Um, and I just thought these would be so nice for our dining room table when we're hosting. Just has really pretty gold on it. It kind of reminds me of like New Year's too. I think that'll be really nice for New Year's. So I got four of those. Um, what else? And then another little mini tree. So yeah, my little haul from, not really little, that was a lot of stuff from that store I went to. Um, I'm going to get the rest of my holiday stuff to show you. And the other store I went to was Canadian Tire. Okay, I might as well show you guys from here. So, um, okay. oh, look how cute this is. That's for you, Max. Mia hung it on the door for you. <laughs> I got this from Composition Lane a few years ago and it's just so cute. Uh, okay, now, you can tell I got lots of ornaments. There are oh, a bunch of them. So, got two more and then I didn't have any gold um, deers yet, so I just thought this would be perfect. And I got two of these. Look how pretty that is. So you can see, yeah, we have the tree up right now. I have to fluff it out and everything. Um, you can see I've already started decorating and all of uh, the ones on my table, my dining room table right here are actually white. So. I thought adding a gold one would be really pretty. And then also the plates are gold. You can see here, those are the ones I got from HomeSense. Um, like a little tree at the end. I still have some stuff to do. I wanted to get like little ornaments, like gold ones for this. I thought that'd be really cute, but I like the gold deer. I don't want to take these out, but just to show you for the tree, gold florals. Um, I got this Noel sign right here, and then that's the other reindeer. There is a ton of ornaments in here, so I ended up getting these cute little houses right here. Um, they're wood, and then, oh, these were my favorite. I thought these would look really neat on the tree. Uh, yeah. And I saw them on the tree that they had there and it just looked really different, so. I know, you gotta wait a minute, honey. Uh, what's this? What's this called? Candy cane. My day. I know. My okay, day hold day. on, hold on. My Thank day you. Day. I know. My day day. So I got more flowers. Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, yeah, it's yummy, huh? And then these ornaments. So I think that's everything. I'm gonna get everything out of the bags and then I will start decorating and sharing with you guys my tree. Move the door. Did you get mommy some bows with daddy? Huh, huh, huh. Look at all these bows for the tree. Whoa. Now mommy, yeah, bows. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so I am just taking some videos right now. I just got up the tree. This is actually in our bonus room. Last year I had it in my office, but it just made a lot more sense to have it in here so the girls could enjoy it. Uh, and then it's not so cluttered down on our main floor, but I'm taking photos for Christmas. I'm so excited. Um, I've got like all of my boxes, which come pre-bowed and they're just ready to give for Christmas. And then I'm taking some photos um, just so I have lots for 
holiday season and then also upcoming Ipsy. So we are so close. I'm like booking everything right now. It's so crazy how close the event is. Um, and then I'm also taking pictures of the new set. So I'll keep you guys updated. I've also got, oh my goodness, I'm so tired right now. Um, my palette. So I'm going to be taking lots of up close photos for the holidays. And I just love Christmas so much. It's so sparkly up here and beautiful. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. morning you guys I am in my kitchen right now there's stuff everywhere because I'm not done my tree yet getting there but not done and it's a lot harder because uh, the one I had previously when it was green it was flocked and it had like the snow on it and stuff so it's so much easier to decorate this one I really have to fill um, but I love all the ornaments so far I think I might get some ribbon this one I bought is just not thick enough I feel like I might need something a bit thicker to fill in the spaces um, and then I had everything silver last year, so I had to buy everything brand new with gold. I really love gold though. I think it really warms up your home for the holidays and the girls have been loving it. We're gonna take some pictures today actually. That's why I thought I'd hop on here, chat with you guys. I actually, okay, I just, I had to call Ryan because they're at the park and I'm like, where's my luggage? We got home like almost a week ago and I haven't even taken out everything from my luggage. I, that means I haven't done makeup all week, which is crazy. Um, and I'm filming this today, actually Friday, which is the day I'm uploading this. So it's just been that kind of week, you guys. And I thought I'd fill you in on how our anniversary went. And then also just some updates with the girls, Christmas stuff we have planned. And then also, uh, my launches. So I have new launches coming up just a few weeks away and I'm so excited. And finally, the baby item that I planned on launching or that I talked about with you guys many, many, many months ago. It's been like two years in the works and finally we are here. So lots of stuff coming. I also have my rose pink collection that's gonna be launching the same day as my baby item. So I'm gonna go in and use all these brushes today. I'll just pull them out. I was just taking pictures of them earlier, as you saw, um, but the 10 piece right here, so pretty, so pretty for the holidays. And of course, you guys always know I launch things on Black Friday so you guys can get super discounts, you guys can get free gifts. And I know I love to shop that same way. So I always have a lot of people ask me like, how come you do launches on Black Friday? But I just think it's special when you guys can get extra discounts. And I mean, I think during the holidays, everyone's just so festive and you know, I think it's just a wonderful time to um, get excited for Christmas. So anyways, I'm going to get ready. I also, gosh, I haven't, I completely forgot to get my suitcase out. It's so crazy. Like I have everything in here, my skincare even. It's been a long week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, firstly, I thought I would mention our four year anniversary. So we went up to uh, Lake Louise and stayed at Fairmont and that's our first time staying there. It was so beautiful going in with lip balm. This is just the fresh one. And it was stunning, you guys. Like if you would have seen from the clips of this vlog, like they had balloons and they had treats for us. They had a bottle of champagne and we were so excited and thrilled. And the view was spectacular. The view is something like out of a book, like even Ryan was shocked and we've both been in Alberta for a long time, but the view it was so scenic, quiet. And we even asked, cause it was just so quiet going up there. And the last time I went up to Lake Louise was in the summer and it was so busy, uh, but it was just like dead, which was really nice. We got to like really explore and have a wonderful time. Where's my foundation? Ah, okay. Oh, by the way, I bought some stuff from Sephora VIB. Let me know if you want me to do a separate video on the things I got. Um, I'll probably include it in my next vlog <laughs> or when it comes, because I think it comes tomorrow. I am just going to go in with my beauty sponge here, which I am back on the sponge wagon, you guys. I really like using a sponge for foundation. And then, I mean, you could go in. There's multiple brushes actually you could use. Um, the three larger face brushes you could use as a foundation brush, but... Um, I just am gonna go in ooh, with my sponge right now. And uh, 
Yeah, so the other thing, so my mom actually watched the girls for the whole night and day. So she was with them for like a day and a half. Uh, and she said they were so well behaved. They ate all their food. They went on a long walk. They didn't go on the street. Like anything that she told them to do, they did. And I just find it so funny because they act so differently around us. I'm sure it's the same for every parent, but I mean, they definitely are on an extra, you know, well-behaved manner when they're with their grandparents. And I think that's totally normal. Even when they're in school, when they're in preschool, they're angels. Like Ryan was telling me when he picked them up the other day, all the moms were with him watching uh, the kids in the class and they were doing like the last, um, what's it called? They do like a, a little dance circle before they leave the class. And me and Sophia were with other kids dancing. And then at the end, they ran to each other and gave each other a hug and a kiss. And then all the moms were like, oh my God, your kids are kissing and hugging. And they were like freaking out. But I'm like, oh, that's nice. Cause they don't do that much when they're at home. They are full crazy, like pure crazy when they're at home fighting and over every small little thing, I think, or what was it yesterday? Sophia, or Mia was on Sophia's pillow and Sophia freaked out about it. But of course, I think that's just so normal for parents to get the bad end of things because they're so used to us. Uh, and it was just right when we got back, I'm like, yeah, back to lots of work here. And uh, they're just in that crazy phase right now where it's funny, they're fully potty trained, they sleep through the night, they're doing amazing and we're past all those phases. And then there's more phases now where it's like, the talking back and saying no or not eating and just things like that where I'm like, great, now we're in another phase. Um, but it's just so funny. I mean, they are just, it's its crazy how much energy they have. Like it sometimes still shocks me how much energy they have. Uh, so the other update actually, which is pretty exciting, um, Miami, I've been booking, I booked the flights the other day for myself and two of my friends that are gonna be going with me. Uh, I'm so excited to go out there, you guys. And if you are in Miami um, and if you plan on going to the Ipsy event, let me know, I'd love to meet you. And they're really neat mobiles this year, like where they almost look like big food trucks. And I think that's so much easier. You have a smaller setup and it's just more personable than Gen Beauty where I did those events, you guys. And I swear I'd have so much anxiety going to one of those now because it was just like crowds and crowds of people. Like it was just so much. So I think now it'll be a lot more um, exclusive and just more personable, which I think is what I will enjoy a lot more. Um, and I mean, I'm not, it's, it's so different now. I used to be just so uppity and just so, I mean, I still am social. That's, you know, not, hasn't gone away, but I think I'm just so different now and so calm. And I have a different way of just, I think, or my personality is different, I think. So going to these events, like, I don't think I could do a, another Gen Beauty where it was just like crowds and crowds of people. Like it just gives me anxiety thinking about it. Um, and I think this will just be so much easier to get to know you guys a little bit better. And we'll, we're gonna be doing um, an eyeshadow demo at the booth. And then, uh, what's it called? And just sh showing like all of the brush sets and like how to use some of the brushes. And my friend Jen actually that I have coming, she's uh, like, she owns a makeup business where she does a lot of bridal um, and a lot of freelance makeup. So she's fantastic to bring in the group. And then my other friend Chantel is just super bubbly and a makeup lover. And she'll actually be handing out like a free gift. So I decided to do the Boss Babe Angled Blusher. I don't think I have it right here, but... It's a beautiful nude brush, which I think is so perfect for Christmas time. And it's just like a neutral toned brush that I think everyone will love. So that's going to be what we're handing out at our booth if you come visit. Okay, so it's this color. This is dirty right now, but it's this color. So pretty for the holidays. And then um, different angled blusher, which you can use for so many things. I cannot find my mascara, you guys. Or sorry, not mascara. <laughs> Concealer, where are you? Um, oh, there it is, okay. I've been going in with this Boeing concealer by Benefit. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I feel like I just have a really good group and there's this hotel I'm thinking of booking and it's like all pink, which is so crazy. Maybe I have a picture. I'll show you guys really quickly. It is so hard to multitask and film. Oh, Ryan's sending me a video. Um, but I'm just so excited. So I'll be in Florida. Miami 
from December 1st till the 5th. And then I thought, cause the event is gonna be the Thursday, Friday from four to 10 PM. I thought the Saturday is the day we can go out and explore and go shopping, go like do beach things and like whatever you guys would recommend. I've never been to Miami. Let me know what there is to do. Um, we were thinking, okay, I saw this hotel. How like beautiful is this? Look at that. That doesn't even look like a hotel. That's so beautiful. So I'm thinking about staying there. This was their pool. That's their pool. Um, but I showed that to the girls and they are both lovers of pink as well. So I mean, two girls that I just, I think will be so perfect to bring with me and they're great friends of mine. So I'm just really looking forward to it. And I'm so excited. This is another big event that I have not done in such a long time, you guys. And um, you know, I feel like I keep apologizing because I've been off and on, off and on of social media, but there's nothing more multitasking than motherhood and when you run your own company. It is so, like Ryan's gotten a good taste of it and like seeing what I have to do all day long. And it's not just filming, it's like a, so many emails and like new projects I'm working on, a new business I'm launching. Like there's so much more to it that you don't see. Um, so I think there's just, yeah, there's just, and then Ryan also, I forgot if I mentioned, um, he starts a new job. So he hasn't worked since the girls, before the girls were born. So it's been three years, but he's taken on a sales position where it's just from home in the job title that he had before, um, or the same field, I mean, but the sales portion of it. So he's got training for the next two weeks. And even though it's at home, I'm going to have to watch the girls for eight hours a day, all week for two weeks. So, and that is gonna be in between my Black Friday. So I'm gonna pre-film, pre-do everything, try to be on, maybe do a live with the girls. I know it might be crazy, but I just wanna be as engaging as possible within the next few weeks, just so you guys like, I don't know, I hate launching something and I'm not like actually there talking about things. And that's what I need is time. Like I really do need time. And I know he knows that I need that. Um, so he's gonna be, you know, super helpful in between. And then also we are planning on getting a nanny um, for three days a week, we're still actually looking right now. It's a process, but the girls just do so well in school that we just thought having someone here to teach them educational things and keep them in that routine and, you know, take them to the park, take them on nice long walks and things like that so we can work um, will just be so helpful. Because I'm not going to lie, it honestly is so tough. And uh, to work from home when you have two kids, it's so funny. <laughs> Whenever I talk to my friends that don't have kids on the phone, me and Sophia will be screaming on the top of their lungs. They, it's, it's like they know that I'm talking to someone that doesn't have the kids yet. And they're like, ah, <laughs> like so scared. But it's just so funny because it's just a different world, right? And, um, and then the things I appreciate so much about me and Sophia, they are just like, Oh my gosh, they have such different personalities. Sophia loves to cuddle and Mia is just so warm and gentle. Like she'll, she'll, if she realizes I haven't had my coffee yet, she'll go up to Ryan and be like, mama needs coffee. Like how stinking cute is that? And they're just so caring and loving. Like I just, oh my gosh, like they are just so precious and they get more precious by the day. So I just have to keep up myself because they are so much energy. Um, I am just gonna go in with a little bit of face right now and then uh, what else was I gonna catch you guys up on? Um, so yeah, okay, so ooh, I'm gonna go in with my palette here. I'm gonna go in with the middle. I love the light pink in the middle, it's so pretty. And I'm just gonna go in with my flat shader brush. Um, Okay, so yeah, I, in my next vlog, I'm gonna share, which I think I'll have two for next week, gonna share everything, and there's gonna be a separate video for these two special launches. Oh my gosh, I just can't wait. So you guys already know the rose pink brushes, and I might as well tell you what the launch is because I know some people watch me ramble on and on, but some people don't. So the, the ones of you that are actually listening, you'll know what I'm launching prior to for on the, is it the 20? My gosh, I think it's the 25th. So I'm launching it on the Thursday. My Black Friday sale will start on November 25th. So mark your calendars. I'll have lots of newsletters going out and um, exciting things. So I'm gonna do a gift with purchase. There's gonna be a massive discount for the store and also off the new items. So I might as well just say it. 
I am launching a diaper bag, you guys. And I know some of you have seen it in some of my videos, especially when I was launching the makeup line. I had it all the way at that point, but we've just, it's been such a long process. I cannot wait. I am so excited. These are like luxe diaper bags. And the reasoning why I wanted to do this, it literally has been almost two years, is because when I had Mia and Sophia, I was ha I've gone through like 10 different diaper bags. I'm not even kidding you. So many, I've had like the Skip Hop, I've had ones off Amazon, I've had ones that I've bought in from like Bye Bye Baby. None of them were large enough for twins, first off. None of them had enough separate compartments. And I was just shocked. I'm like, why isn't there a nice diaper bag? Like all of them were ones that I just didn't want to wear or like, weren't my style. So I'm like, there's actually no nice affordable diaper bags that are big enough um, if you have multiple children, because if you have more than one child, you have a lot of stuff. If you're carrying diapers, um, you know, you have your lunch in there. Even I noticed like when we were going to the pools in the summer, like you need towels in there, like change of clothes, diapers, like so much stuff, milk, like it's endless, right? So the amount of space you need is quite a lot and that's why I just came up with that idea. I'm like, why don't I just have a really gorgeous diaper bag? And I am just so excited. I don't wanna to go too much into detail because I'm saving it for the full video, but that's what it is, you guys. And I'm just, oh my goodness. It's been a long process of working on this, but I can't wait. So there's gonna be two colors. It will come in pink and white and they're so beautiful. Wait till you see the detailing on it. And they are cruelty free as well and vegan, vegan, I mean, that was really important to me um, as well. And I'm just, yeah, that I'm gonna end it here so that I can save it for the video coming next week for you guys, but get ready, lots of stuff coming to my brand. Oh, and also it's, the logo is the sweetest thing. So it's m and I've named this well, new company after the girls because obviously they've brought so much passion in it, a whole different, different realm to my life that I just never knew existed. And I just think they're so, there's so much to share and so much to like just be inspired by when it comes to them. Um, so yeah, the, the logo has an M and an S and the and is a baby. So cute. I love the logo. I can't wait to show you guys. I hope you're excited. Um, and I know everyone's like, your brows are so dark to be with your wig. I don't really care to be honest because if I were to dye my brows, then I couldn't wear my dark wigs. That's the whole point I think of wearing wigs. So if you guys are wearing wigs, don't mind your brows. I don't, I don't think it's a problem. And I actually, I actually, it's grown on me. I actually really like the darker brows with the light hair. I think it is kind of like a trend and it looks, I think it looks nice. I don't think they need to match. Like it's the whole point of wearing wigs and having fun with it. So, um, anyways, yeah, so many exciting things, and uh, I'm just really looking forward to next week. And I am gonna be doing some lives, and I'm gonna be doing some giveaways coming up, so stay tuned for that. And what was the other thing I was gonna catch you guys up on? See, my brain is just fried these days. So much going on. Um, going in with the angled blusher from the new Rose Pink collection. I'm just gonna go in with the Patrick Tub bronzer, which I really like. This is actually quite nice. It looks dark and scary, but goes on really nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to catch you guys up on. And then for holiday stuff, I'm just really excited. I wanna do a gift guide. I wanna do just like those, you know, videos, but I wanna have them in vlogs because I've been debating about Vlogmas. Now I would not be able to do the whole 25 days, but I was watching Madison and I noticed that she mentioned that she's gonna do 12 days where you skip every second day. So I'm like, I could do that, manageable. Um, now these types of videos obviously would include the girls a whole lot because it's really hard to film and take the time like this where they're not here. So let me know, they might be a little repetitive, but if you guys wanna see like holiday baking and um, you know, haul like grocery hauls and just things I would do on a daily basis, I can add that in the, the vlogs. But that's the thing with Vlogmas, they are a little bit repetitive, but if you guys don't mind that, then I don't mind doing them. Um, and then I just don't know how I'd upload in Miami. <laughs> I could bring my laptop, but. Um, yeah, I'll have to plan around that, but let me know what you guys are thinking for that. And also let me know if you guys have gotten your Christmas trees up. I'm so happy it's up, honestly. It's brought in so much joy and 
Uh, the girls are just so excited for Christmas this year, you guys. Like they keep taking the Santa and the elves and I can't wait to do some holiday baking with them. And just like, we have two friends coming over and staying with us next weekend and they have um, Michael, which is the girl's age and then a new baby. So I just thought that'd be exciting. We can do like holiday baking together and just do dinner and have them stay over. So we're excited for that. I'm not doing crazy makeup today. Uh, I'll go in with some blush. Now I've been using, I think I have to buy it again. I've been using the NARS Orgasm blush. It's like the mini size I got from Sephora. I am obsessed with this again. I was obsessed with this when I worked at Halt Renfrew like 10 years ago and I'm obsessed all over again. It just leaves your skin with such a beautiful sheen and like it has like a sparkle to it but it's not like overpowering. I really like it. it. Almost looks like a highlight. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what else I was gonna say, but I'm gonna finish getting ready. I will come back on here and do a little outro because I've been forgetting to do those in my videos. Um, but it's nice to come on here and chat with you guys and catch you up and let you know exciting things are coming. I'm gonna have more videos. I'm gonna do two next week, two the next week after that, and get more into this two a week because I really love that schedule. And then even though Ryan's working, like I said, I'll just have the girls a little bit in my vlogs, which I know you guys love seeing them anyways. Uh, they're just kind of everywhere. So it's a little harder to film and a little bit more tricky, but I can make it work. Uh, let me know what your kids and what you're planning on doing for the holidays though. Is there anything traditional you're doing? I know we'll do ice skating once the rink is frozen there. I think we're getting snow next week. Uh, and then other than that, just kind of the holiday things like baking and we'll probably do like an order in Turkey. Like they do some of those meal, um, where you can order pre-made meals here and they they do like turkey and cranberry and gravy and all those things. So I think I might do that when my two friends come here to stay. Uh, I have a birthday party tomorrow and we're all staying over at my friend's house, my friend Jen, the one that's coming with me to Miami. Uh, so I'll probably be on Insta stories a little bit tomorrow. I'm just gonna try to be on more this week because <laughs> I feel like I've had the last week kind of to like computer stuff and just, back end stuff and i'm ready to kind of just get back to filming now um but yeah okay i will be back okay done getting ready i put on lashes and lipstick haven't gotten ready like this in a while uh, my closet's a little messy right now but i wanted to quickly show you uh the dresses that i'm gonna put the girls in so we have this one really cute little plaid dress and then this pure red dress i don't know what i'm wearing yet i think i might wear red um and i have i'm still using the fall makeup bag this is from ipsy and i just love it and then in my backpack this is the backpack i'm still using i kind of want to switch to the new bag i got for my birthday the small one we're going out for dinner tonight so i might wear that one and honestly, I've just been wearing like my tiny little Chanel bag a lot. And this bracelet I wore, so that's the one I got for my birthday. I wore it when we went up for our four-year Annie. Uh, it's really lightweight. It's really nice to wear. I wore it for, for a few days. It's not like uncomfortable or anything. And then I've just been wearing a lot of my Chanel earrings right here. These ones here are from Glamlock Shop. And I was just folding a ton of uh, laundry and like I said I still haven't unpacked my suitcase right there so I'm still in the works of doing that I've got like I don't know how this happened I have clothes everywhere it just happens some days when I have busier days and I don't have time to put stuff away but I'm really liking this outfit so this is from dynamite it's so comfortable I got this in a few different colors but this is just very Christmassy and I love the style of it I love comfortable pants right now like I am so about uh sweatpants and just comfy pants this winter so I just thought this would be really cute to wear right now and yeah and the other thing I added, so I have the nutcracker up here, I have the little Christmas tree, I have my makeup case, I have 
this makeup case, which I have it filled with just makeup and brushes and everything like that for photos. Um, that's the only stuff I have here. And then I'll show you what I have in my master. So this is all I've done so far up here, but I got these cute little trees from Canadian Tire. I just thought they'd be so cute to fill in like little spaces where we have pictures and stuff of the girls. So I still want to bring up some like elves or just some other decor up here. And then this was the girl's first Christmas shoot. Look at that. So adorable. Okay, last little look before I get the rest of the ornaments on the tree, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys. Also, I need Ryan to put the star on the top of the tree, so hopefully we can do that in the next video. <laughs> and I remember showing you guys these glasses from the little haul I did, and these look perfect for our dining room table. It goes really nicely with the, like, the gold in this middle one I have here, so... That'll be really nice. And then I just have to find, I do have gold napkins um, with the little ring and like also utensils. So I'll have to bring that out probably next week um, or after the weekend. But I'm really happy on how everything is turning out. This is also gonna go somewhere else. I think upstairs in the bonus room, um, but just wanted to quickly show you guys. My home mama. <gasps> Hi, Mia Sophia. Hi. What did you guys do? Where did you go? You went on the swings? Wait, wait, I to sing. We're we. Wow, you were saying we? What's what's on the TV? What did mommy put on the TV? Oh, Is that fire nice and warm? What happened to your hair, Sophia? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a tornado. No. My goodness. My head. Okay, we're gonna eat some lunch and then I was thinking we could put on some pretty Christmas dresses. Okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't have much time to film. Look at this. Mia's getting in mommy's ornaments and Sophia's undressing already. Okay, so we are gonna end it here. Please let me know what other videos you guys would like to see for the holidays. I have two vlogs coming next week for both my launches and just kind of getting into Black Friday and like what to order. I thought I could do videos like that and I will be finished my Christmas tree by then, I promise. So I'll show it to you one last time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll quickly show you guys the Christmas tree. Mia, do you wanna say bye-bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later.